Rocky Mount Cook National Park is one of the most spectacular, must-see places on the South Island of New Zealand, encompassing 23 peaks over 3,000 metres high, with brilliant milky blue glacial lakes and lush alpine fields. It's actually possible to see most of what the park has to offer in just one day. Let me show you how. The drive in along State Highway 80 is truly stunning with the ice blue Lake Pukaki on your right and glimpses of Mount Cook in the distance. Your first pit stop should be at Pete's Lookout. Here you'll get incredible views of Mount Cook and if you're lucky, beautiful reflections on Lake Pukaki. The weather in the park can be very unpredictable and can change on a dime, so be prepared. Of the half a dozen times I've visited, I've only had two beautiful days of weather here. While it's home to New Zealand's tallest mountain, Aoraki Mount Cook, you don't need to be a mountaineer to experience the park. There are many walking and hiking tracks suitable for people of all ages and fitness levels. The first of the hiking tracks that I suggest you check out is the Tasman Lake and River Track. The turnoff to the Tasman Valley is well marked, but I suggest you get here early as the car park fills up very quickly. It's a 50 minute 2.8 km return walk along fairly flat ground. You can see what I mean by the weather as on this day the clouds had moved in but it didn't seem to bother a couple of the locals. The track is well signed and when you finally get to the mouth of the Tasman River you will be greeted by spectacular views of the Tasman Glacier, New Zealand's longest glacier at 23 kilometres, and also the brilliant blue colour of Tasman Lake and hopefully some icebergs. Thankfully I have been here with clearer conditions and managed to capture it in all its glory. Once you've completed your walk here, it's time to head to Mount Cook Village itself. Thankfully, the weather started to clear and we even spotted a rainbow over the village. The centerpiece of the village is the Hermitage Hotel. There's not many places to buy food in the village, so unless you've brought your own food, your best option is the Sir Edmund Hillary Cafe and Bar. The food is a little overpriced, but the views from the cafe of Mount Cook are incredible. It's only a short drive from the village to White Horse Campground, which is the starting point for what I consider the must-do walk, the Hooker Valley Track. The walk follows the Hooker River, ending at the Glacier Lake, where there are amazing views of Mount Cook. Be warned though, on a beautiful spring day like today, the car park and walk can be very busy, but don't let that deter you. The track itself is an easy 10 km return walk along well-maintained gravel paths and boardwalks. I would suggest you allow three hours to do the entire walk. Also make sure to take plenty of water and snacks to eat along the way, a camera of course, and on a day like today, make sure you apply plenty of sunscreen because it's easy to get burnt. Only 15 minutes into your walk, you'll reach Lake Mueller Lookout, which gives you incredible views of Lake Mueller, Mueller Glacier, and the surrounding mountains. You'll also spy the first of three swing bridges you will need to cross over on your way to Hooker Lake. The bridges allow you to cross Hooker River and offer stunning views of the mountains and the milky green glacial water flowing below. On busy days like today, it's a good idea to heed to the bridge limit signs. We did the walk during the middle of the day and as you can see, it was very busy. So if you want to avoid the crowds, go very early or late in the day around sunset. The walk between the first and second swing bridge takes you along the side of Lake Mueller where there are a few more good vantage points of the lake. It takes about 20 minutes to get to the next swing bridge. Again, the view is amazing.
Not far beyond the second bridge, you will reach another vantage point and it's here you catch your first sight of Mount Cook. It's difficult to describe how incredibly beautiful these majestic mountains are. The video really doesn't do it justice. It's something that you have to experience in person. From here, every step you take offers a different view of Mount Cook with the Hooker River or the beautiful alpine fields in the foreground. One important note is that there is a public toilet along the track, but as it's a drop toilet, I would only use it if absolutely necessary. Mind you, that is a pretty awesome view from a toilet. The walk from here to the third swing bridge takes you over a crystal clear alpine creek. and onto a long twist and turning boardwalk across a grassy alpine field. The leading lines of this boardwalk and Mount Cook in the background are a perfect photo opportunity. It can be a bit tricky to get the perfect selfie when it's busy, but it's well worth it. Reaching the third swing bridge means you're only about another 15 minutes from Hooker Lake. Before you get there though, make sure you take the very short detour to signed Alpine Tarn, which is a small pool of water, which if photographed from the right angle and in calm conditions, offers a great reflection shot of Mount Cook. From here, it's only a short five minute uphill walk to Hooker Lake. And wow, what a view. At the far end of the lake is Mount Cook, which stands at 12,316 feet, while on either side you are surrounded by more towering mountains. It's incredible. There are tables to sit at if you've brought your lunch or just need a break to take in the view. Make sure you walk down to the lakeside so you can fully appreciate this incredible place. Depending on the time of year you visit, the lake could be filled with icebergs and the water can look like it's milky green or even a vibrant blue. The Hooker Valley Walk is for me a must do on your visit to Mount Cook National Park. With time still left in the day, we managed to fit an awesome scenic flight with Mount Cook's ski planes and helicopters. If you can afford it, I highly recommend a ski plane flight which lands on the Tasman Glacier. It's truly amazing. The views were incredible with the flight, taking us up the Tasman Valley, around the Southern Alps, past Mount Cook, eventually landing on the glacier. We 
were allowed to get out and take some photos before the scenic flight home. It's an experience I won't forget soon. Thanks for joining us on this unforgettable adventure through Mount Cook National Park. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video so that you don't miss seeing my many more New Zealand videos to come. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering and keep the spirit of adventure alive. <laughs>